Hey guys, my name is Robert. I want to say thanks for coming to the channel. I'm with my 12 year old son, Jesse, and what he's gonna do, he's gonna actually do an oil change on mom's 2013 Lexus LX570. We picked it up used because honestly, the new ones are way, way, way too expensive, but I had to have a third row because we have four kids in the family now and we needed a new family truckster. So that's what we got, but the little light came on at about 75,000 miles telling us to change the oil and the filter and that's what we're gonna do or actually that's what he's gonna do right Jesse yeah and Jesse's right now he's suiting up and he's also got his goggles and his gloves and we're gonna work on getting this oil change done we're gonna go over what tools we need and you can watch him get into doing the work and I think he's gonna do a good job he's already done my 2017 Tacoma before he's seen my videos he's actually been in many 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 of my videos and he's excited to do more work every day he's always willing and able to do more work and i'm actually really proud of him and he's 12 years old he'll be 13 later this year but the dude's 5'7 i'm 6'1 and he's growing big every every day all right jesse so we got uh these tools yeah explain to everybody what we're going to use them for we're going to get the the drain pan yep drain pan here the, and the oils there. Gotta have oil, of course. Yeah, there's some tools here. Socket sets. Socket sets. So we need a 10, 12, and 14, I believe. Yeah. So we could get everything accessed here. What Thinking else? Taking a torque a torque wrench. Torque wrench, so we make sure everything and is nice and tight. And also a pick. A pick, so we could get uh, the rubber O-rings without marring everything. Yeah. We got stuff to clean our hands and also wipe things, right? Yeah. What and we got? we got some gloves. Gloves and goggles for safety. Yeah. What's over here? A, a, uh, a funnel there. Oil funnel. And also the filter there. The filter cartridge wrench. It's wrench there. Right here by Motivex. This yeah. is Motivex too. And what is this? And yeah. this is the oil fil filter cartridge uh, drain. Yeah. So instead of using the plastic drain, we'll demonstrate how easy it is to use this one and how less of a mess it is. And then. And there's something, um, something back. Oh, back here is what? Seals. Oil drain plug oil gasket drain seals. Yeah, seals. seals. That'll make sure that the, it seals the oil drain properly so we won't have leaks, correct? And then what we got last? Pretty important, right? What is it? The, the inside, the, uh, the oil filter. The oil filter there. Yeah, this is an oil filter. It's a TRD oil filter. So yeah. I grabbed this one. Um, uh, this is the oil drain, the plastic one that yeah. comes with it right. versus the other one we'll demonstrate how. But I got this one because it costs more money. The paper one was way cheaper, Jesse. But yeah. this one costs more money. Yeah. But if I can get it out. This is metal filter on the housing. Look at that. It's yeah. metal on the, both sides. The center part is metal. It's hard to see there, but it's actually metal. Uh, of course, the element itself is paper, but it's a, it's a pretty solid unit. Um, all this stuff I put in the description of the video so you guys can reference it. But uh, Jesse's going to try to do most of the work. Hopefully, uh, it'll be easy. Another thing I like to get is a piece of cardboard or something, so that way any of the leaks or oil dripping, it kind of goes there before it goes through your driveway. A little bit less mess, because uh, these tools will help alleviate a lot of the leaking, but sometimes you do slip and you guys have problems. I also put this on ramps because I just want to more, have more workspace to get underneath there. Uh, there was still enough room to get in there regularly, but I wanted Jesse just to just get a little bit more room so he could get in there a little bit easier and I could get in there. He's a little skinny so he can do it, but I have a little bit more um, of a challenge. So anyways, we'll be back. Jesse's gonna suit up, have his goggles and gloves, and then he's gonna get on his hair and we're gonna take it apart. You ready, Jesse? Yeah. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Yeah. See, so you're suited up, ready to go. Yeah. So we got all the stuff. We went over it a little bit earlier. So now what we're gonna do is we need to, first of all, let's pop the hood open. So let's go ahead and pop the hood, please. Go. All right, these have shocks, so it's a little bit easier to pop open. So you'll be able to do this one because you don't have a lot of weight. It's in the middle, no, no, it's right in the middle. So they'll have a little safety latch so it doesn't pop open by accident. You want to move it usually from the left to the right. There you go, and push it up. It's got the shocks. Yep, there you go. Great job. So it's a little high for you. You're still, you're tall, but it's still high. The oil filler will be right here. So we, what we'll do is we'll loosen the oil cap after we start to drain it and uh, but we'll wait because I noticed if we do it now, it's gonna drain faster and it ends up being a little bit messy. Let's go ahead and take the skid plate off. So the oil filter cartridge is underneath this skid plate here. Right here, 
is the skid plate and watch your head. We got to take off this thing, this skid plate, because the cartridge is right underneath there. So there's one here. They marked it. I don't know who did this. Look at this, Essie. This I is how they, they marked it. I so that they way they show which one's the bigger ones. Okay, so there's one here, one here, one there. I think there's one on the right. Yeah, and there's one right there. No, we're not going on that side. We're going on this side, this side only. Yeah. You see this? One, two, yeah. three, yeah. four, five, and then maybe one over there. Yeah. Do you see it? One over there? One right, one there. There's one right here. Yeah, it's marked in yellow. So go ahead and go yeah. for those. Go check the size and see what they are. I think that's a, I'm gonna guess, uh, either 10 or 12. Mm. So go ahead and check it. I'll get both 10 and 12. Which one is it to you? These two are 10s. Those are 10s and these are 12s? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So go ahead and... Do you need some extenders? If you want one, you can get a little one, maybe a short one. I'll get some little extenders short a little one. bit. Oh, okay. Don't you like these Motorbex tools, Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna make sure it... If you need help, yep, lifty, loosey, righty, tidy, right? Here we go. That's the 12, isn't it? Yeah, 12 is right so, here. If you need help, I know sometimes it's hard to get leverage. Come on, let me set it like right there. So, yep. it's strong. so you can push against it. Yep. Oh, they put these on tight. I wonder if they. Oop. Come on, it's, come on. Are you sure it's a 12? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Push it. I'll just hold on to it. You might need. Oh, oh, oh. Like, oh watch out, watch out, watch out. Cool. Let me do it. I need some help. Just hold it. Let me get it. I didn't get it. Yeah, it's so hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't use the impact gun. Oh. Wow, I think they actually use impact gun. Let's yeah. See. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use impact gun too. Go get the impact gun. Well. All right, we're back because that thing's on tight. So that's the thing about dealers and stuff. You gotta be careful that they kind of go kung fu on it, you know? There we go. That was easier, right? That was, that was <laughs> That's okay. one here. Yep. And these are on tight. Even dad had problems with it. So yeah. when we put them back on, we're going to use the hand, the wrench itself. We're not going to impact it. Yeah. There's one right here. Go ahead and get that one. Well, I can't believe they put it that tight, Jesse. That one. Okay. See, there's one more right here. Yeah. And there's one more right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we got them all now. Yeah. So back up. You got it? There we go. There you go, watch your head, go take it easy. Mm, I think it's grabbing right there. Yep. Yeah, so what happens, it kinda, it had a lip right here. You see right here, Justin? Yeah. There was a lip right there. Yeah, that has to be open, that. Yeah. So, all that to get to this. <laughs> yeah. The oil housing filter. Yeah. So now, um, wanna... you know while you're under here, over here, I think they're two 10 millimeter. I'll show you where to take out to, to get the oil pan. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of work to get there. Here's the passenger axle right here, the A arm. You see right here, Jesse? Right yes. there and right there. Those two. Those two? Right. Is it the panel? This panel. I'm going to take out that panel right there. Is it too tight? Did they use a wrench again? Wow. <laughs> Is it too hard? Oh, there you yeah. go. There you go. I had to pounce. Get the other one. Push. Get the other one loose, too. I had to it out. Got it. It's out. Here. Yeah. Let's get this oil pan. There. It's going to go. You see it? There. It's going to go. There. A little bit more. So. Be ready when you are. Okay. Watch your head. So you gotta be careful to get oil, not to get oil on your face and stuff, okay? You got it? It might be super tight. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. Okay. Now use your hand. It's a little bit. Okay, now take it out. Use your hand. It's gonna drop, so get ready to hold that bolt, okay? So get hold that bolt when it comes loose and then move your hand so the oil drops. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good job. Got it. Okay, go ahead and leave it there.
<laughs> Good job. Oh, I'm gonna get off. you some paper. Let me get some paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. Yep. Yep. Let's see if it came out faster. Oh wow. A little bit faster, maybe? A little bit faster. Yeah, we missed a little cardboard. We got some on the ground, but we'll clean it up. Yeah. So what we're going to do is the other washer stuck on the drain so we'll get pan. Out. So we got to knock it out. Yeah. And what I like about these um, OEM ones, you see it has that little blue thing. So it's actually, it'll help seal it better. So it's on both sides. Put it on there and see how it matches. It matches perfect, right? Yeah. So uh, once we get it, we need to torque it. About 30 pounds torque. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and get the torque wrench. Set 30 pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out that that um. I, I dropped it so picked up. I'm gonna knock out that um washer for you. Well, I get more. You gonna thread snug by hand? It can't tighten no more. Okay. We're gonna hear a click. I think I heard a click already. Yep, 30, yeah. there you go. Done. Okay, done. Yeah, I heard a click. It means okay. torch. It's gonna have a little oil maybe leaking. You got it? They put it on maybe too tight. There it goes. Easy you got it? Down. Yep. So, this, this is what I like to do. Yep. Just to... It might have a little oil, but that shouldn't be too much. There you go. See? Oh. It's a little bit. So, the difference between these two is because. <sighs> Generally, you, you jam this in here and then it'll get the oil, but it could be messy. With this one is that you thread this in here. Once this is threaded, then you start to thread this in and this will push up and then activate it. So let's go ahead and have you do it. Yeah, I'm getting the top part on. So my holes, it kind of got stiff and crooked. So I said, you know what, let me just cut it so it's nice straighter. So as long as it's snug, Jesse, is it pretty snug? Yeah, I can't tighten no more. Yeah, it's pretty snug. Plus, it's oily. So, um, go ahead and twist the uh, other part down. A little bit. Sometimes it may leak in a little bit of an angle. Right. Here. That's true. So, go ahead and... Or that way here. Go ahead and twist it. Okay. 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 It doesn't have to be super tight. Just snug. Here you go. That. It's coming out. So, now it's coming out. we got to wait until it drains most of it. And then, then we'll get the wrench here and a cartridge. It might be tight for him again, too. So uh, we'll give it a shot, see if he can do it. If not, Dad's gonna come for the rescue until he gets bigger and stronger than me. So we'll be right back after this drains out some more. Yeah. All right, so it barely is coming out. I so think it let's stopped. go ahead and close the valve thing, turn it back a little bit so we know I'm not gonna drip too much. Like uh, the outside part? Yep, exactly. The knurled, they call it knurled, it has a little grip part. We're just doing it so it doesn't, it kind of seals it. So you won't get any more drips. Yeah. Now, yeah, just go ahead yeah. and twist it out. Yep. So this is just show them real quick. So in here, it's, it's got, got these, these, it's these. got the flat edges right here, but it also has these little openings for teeth. And Jesse's going to be matching it with yeah. the teeth that are on here as well. So that way you have more leverage to uh, to get it out. You see the three teeth? Yeah, the three. they're over here. So you want to match the three teeth there. Yep. There you go. And the other teeth is uh, right there. And it's then in. I'll hold it like this so it won't fall on your head. Yeah, because I'm a... And then you're going to put the leverage of the socket in there. An extension. If you can't get it, I'll help you. Because everything in here has been tight. <sighs> hard. It's hard? Okay. So, back off. And I'm going to go underneath here. Oh. And give it a shot. Pretty soon I'm going to beat that. It's pretty soon. I keep you all using my own while I'm older. Oh, they put a lot, so I think we're gonna use a breaker bar. <clears throat> Jesse, so go ahead and grab the breaker bar. You wanna push it now? Push it all the way from the bottom. That way it's easier for you. Yep. There, there you go, go, see? Easier, right? Okay, do one spin towards me. Don't get in oil. I'll do one forward turn. Keep going. Grab it, grab the bar. Yep. Keep turning. There you go. You got it? Yeah, I just apply some pressure. There you go. Keep going. You got it. You want me to help you? I'm a place. <laughs> you want me to help you? I right. right. Can you pull it without the wrench? Yep. Hold the wrench. Yep. Watch out straight. 
Yep. Oh, see, no oil came out. That's pretty good. Now we're going to tilt a little bit. See? See, not too much oil, right? Just a little bit. Show a little bit, people. See, just a little oil came out. Not a lot. But that's the reason why you drain it first, so you don't get that oil way on the bottom. All right. Doing better, Jesse. Good yeah. job. So we're going to take the oil filter out. It's nice and snug. This is pretty heavy duty. Yeah, it comes with a little some gaskets. Yeah, it comes with these silicone gaskets, I think, because they're green and make the regular silicone, not just rubber. But you can see this is a TRD. Look at the difference. So, one is 100% paper with a little plastic on top, uh, very little plastic. The other one is paper element, but you can see inside, it's hard to see here, but that's all paper in here. It's got metal inside, and this is metal too. Um, and then it has a rubber gasket here, so it's a little bit different, but it's by TRD, so you know it's Toyota. Um, so this is supposed to be higher filtration. Let me get that. So come around, and you're doing the pick. Oh. I'm gonna pick that off. Or I'll have you do it. I'm gonna pick that off. It's black, so it gets see. Nice and clean. House black. Yeah. Clean that a little bit. Yeah. So it's a little cruddy. Oh, it's not crud. It's actually cruddy. <laughs> yeah, this gasket's cruddy out here. Yeah. So let's get that crud out. They're nice and smooth. So the so the new one seals good. Yeah. So it's a nice seal. And let's see right here. There's an O-ring right there in the last spot. Yeah. So you can grab it. Yank it. Ta-da. That's the old one. And we'll clean that out too. Yeah. Get that oil out. Out as well. You go ahead and do the, both of them. Oh yeah. And while you're doing that, you go ahead and stick it down. If that fits. It's usually easier to try to, well you did before, so you know what you're doing. Disabled port, yeah. Uh, all the way to the last one, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, and get the other one too. Yeah. Pop it on, yep. So now, we got the cover for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your finger on here. And then, let's get some oil on your finger and get the other one on the bottom. Oh, it just popped out, huh? So flip it there. Put the oil on there. And just put this wrench on there. It might wipe your hands so it won't be slippery. And then we're going to tighten as tight as you can. We'll torque it once we get it mounted. Nothing to do, right, Justin? Yeah. It just goes on. Yeah, he's not going to push down. Yeah, you're just going to push down. Yeah, it's so just going to push gonna... down when you get it on. Yeah, we need to clean the area. We're going to clean the area that's there so we have a clean contact. Yeah. And then you're going to slowly put that on by hand and then we'll torque it. Yeah. Um, I'll look at the spec and we'll make sure we're torquing it right. Um, I think it's 18 pounds, but I'm going to double check before we torque it. Okay. So we'll do 15, or we could do 23, but so 15 yeah. to 23. And then the little one's going to be 7.5 to 11.5. Okay. So let's scoot this out the way for you. Remember? Hand tighten. So we make sure it's not gonna um, strip. Feels good? Yeah, it's not stripping, it's not. Okay. I can't. You can't do it anymore? Yeah. That's not tighten so much. Okay, so we'll get the get torque wrench. Zero eight. 20, 18, 17, 16, 15. Okay, tighten up. I'll tighten that. I think it's really tight. Yeah, it clicked. What click? I heard click means torque. I hope it didn't crack. All right, we torqued it down there. So we're gonna use this uh, funnel here. Make sure it's on. Yeah, just hand tight, not super tight. I think that's good. Yeah. Well, it's five quarts, so we're just gonna dump the whole thing. Peel it. Yep, there we go. Make sure we peel it all off. Yep. Just Pull it so it won't fall in there. Yank it. Pull it. There you go. Good. All right. Dump it. Usually I like to dump it from the side. Like that. Can you reach, Jesse? Like Can that. you reach? Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pour it. Pour it all. Go for it. Just pour it. 
It's pretty fast, huh? Isn't that fast, Jesse? Whoa, whoa, whoa almost went too fast. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Can you see it? Dumped it all. All right, we'll let it kind of sit there. So we're gonna jump. We're gonna dump seven quarts. So we got five here. Um, usually this calls for five, uh, seven and a quarter, I believe. Yeah. But uh, we'll just dump seven quarts, run it after we check for leaks, because it won't be even the height. Um, check for leaks, seal up the skid plate and the cover, and then drop it down, and then start checking more for the oil dipstick. Yeah. Sir, after that. Yep. Yep. So we'll be back. So again, we're gonna put two more quarts, pour it in there, seven quarts. Again, it's gonna go this. Then we'll measure it after we drop it and check for leaks. Cap goes on snug, Jesse. Okay, start it up. We'll leave it on for a minute and I'm gonna look for leaks. Okay, turn off the engine, Jesse. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Actually, huh? Some oil just came out. Let me look here. The dumb housing cracked on this one right here. I can't remember where, but it was dripping. Um, I think because my either it was gonna crack or not but it's a piece of junk it's it's freaking plastic i had to hurry up and go to um a total dealer and pay basically way more than i could have got through amazon for um a real legit one i should have done this before and i should have bought one anyways but i don't know where the crack is because it's really messy right now but i'll show you what the new one looks like and then um, you know sorry. jesse was pretty smart yeah uh, so there's the new one right there so that's a new one. It matches actually the rest. It's aluminum housing. So I don't know if it makes any cooling difference or anything, but it definitely makes a difference as far as build quality on it. And it's not gonna ever break. And that's what I want. Never ever gonna break on me. I don't know why they cheapened on that. I think they did that to sabotage everybody. But now it's not leaking and it's not gonna break. So, and then I gotta let, Jess, let you guys know that Jesse, he actually figured it out. So these, 5.7 liters. Yeah. So this tube right here, uh, Jesse actually figured out how to uh, replace it. So you had to bend these out right here. Right, by, using a, by using a pick. Yeah, he used a pick and he bent these out so that way you could twist it and get this out because the tube right here is okay for a Tacoma, but for a 5.7 liter Tundra, um, Land Cruiser and LX570, 5.7, it was a longer tube and he did it. So this dude's freaking smart. You know, he's a good kid. And spring like I said, is here, here. Is spring. So that's how you would change that tube. So he figured that out all by himself. I said, Jesse, you figure it out for me because I'm driving and he did. So this dude's so awesome. You know, that's why I love him. And he's, he's one, one of my biggest helpers. He's always yeah, been my biggest because helper. Because I'm a very important person. You are very important. So just want to let you know, get, forget this piece of plastic junk, you know, um, get this piece of plastic junk and get some metal one okay and we're gonna basically put the skid plate back to how it was the cover over there drop it down and start testing the, uh, the oil levels and then we're done uh, <laughs> we, we always work at night right Justin yeah yeah so that's what we're yeah. doing and then the last thing we're gonna do is reset the oil um, reminder the after this, the yeah. maintenance reminder yeah have you know how to do that yeah okay cool so we'll be back it's right here this oil dipstick? Yeah. Okay, be careful, it's hot. Okay. Right, the oil dipstick's here. Let me get a paper towel. So we can see how much it is. 
straight back, straight up. So, what we're going for, get the light over here. There we go. So, what we're doing, you see the bumps? See the bumps, Jesse? Yeah. Let's get it closer. One that's low, that's high. We want to get the oil level in between here. I think it's holding down the trip odometer. Where is the trip odometer? The trip odo, odo right here. Trip odo and power start without starting the car. So, yep, that's how you do it. Okay. Did you guys see that? Maintenance need to reset. So, to do that, hold down the trip odometer here while doing that. Go to start without starting a car, without putting your foot on the brake. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Ooh.